Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create an animated tab bar in Figma. I've already imported icons from iconwar.com. First, I'll select all the icons and group them into a component set. A component set is a collection of reusable design elements. It's useful for elements you'll use multiple times throughout your project. Any changes made at the component level will automatically update all instances, saving time and keeping your project organized. This ensures the icons are interchangeable without needing to delete and reinsert them. Next, I'll draw a frame with a width of 352 pixels, a height of 72 pixels around the corners. I'll duplicate it three times for a total of four frames. Let's update their colors and rename them. The frames will be named Home, Search, Bookmark and Profile. Select all four frames and convert them into a component set. Rename the component set accordingly. Select the icons, hold the Option key on a Mac or Alt key on a PC, and drag an instance into the home frame. Move the search, bookmark and profile icons to the right while shifting the home icon to the left and duplicating it. Add 32 pixels of spacing on each side. Then use the distribute horizontal spacing option to align them. Duplicate the icons to fill the other frames. Update the icons in each frame, making room for the text. Replace the home icon with the search icon and repeat the others. Remove any duplicate icons. Now for the text, I'll use the Poppins font. Set to medium and the size of 16 pixels. Type home and position it beside the home icon. Duplicate the text and place it in the remaining frames. Update the text to match the corresponding icons. Create a frame with a rounded corner. Place it within the home frame to cover both the icon and text and adjust it to 12 pixels padding on each side. Send it to the back. Change the icon and text color to create contrast. Duplicate the frame and repeat the steps for the other icons. Adjust as needed for consistency. Switch to prototype mode and link each icon to its corresponding tab.
use smart animate with a 300 millisecond duration and a gentle easing effect. Repeat the steps for all icons. Figma will remember your last settings, so you don't need to reconfigure each time. Finally, add an iPhone frame, drag a copy of the component into it and preview the design. It looks great. Since changes were made at the component level, any instance you use will automatically inherit them. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with a friend who might benefit from this. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.